Welcome again, and we continue with the top stories of the hour. I'm Randolph Jarmias. A ceremony to receive admonition of the Theodos from Monua was held at Tinwintun Dama Bemanto of Shuisigon Pagoda on Saturday. Patron Theodos of Okan Toya Monastery, Agamaha Ganda Wasaka Pandita Baranda Nandobata, the Theodos and head of Sagang Region Police Force and police members attended the occasion. Head of Region Police Force, Police Colonel Xanyu, submitted the current situation in the region and religious affairs caused by Lepadan Tang Copper Mining Project in Salinji Township in Monua District. Head of Sagang Region Police Force, Police Colonel Sanyu, implored that they were unhappy and asked forgiveness for accidental injuries caused to the sons and disciples of members of the Sangha while taking action against the demonstration camps. The leader session held discussion regarding Lepadantong Copper Mining Project and approved to form Investigation Commission. Union Minister U Ang Min visited the demonstration camps where they held meeting with the demonstrators and clarified losses of the nation. For Human Rights, Regional Administration Committee has already promulgated the National Project Security Orders officially. However, the demonstrators have violated the restrictions that were promulgated according to the law the Regional Administration Committee. News from Myanmar Radio and Television made announcement on 27 November stating that all the demonstrating organizations need to move from the project areas till midnight of 27 November. But the police force waited another 27 hours till 3 a.m. of 29th. During the additional 27 hours, announcements were made every 30 minutes to move from the place. The Regional Administration Committee's order to clear the project area, according to the law, was also read out three times every 15 minutes. For the prevalence of law and order, community peace and management, action was taken as the last resort by using fire engine hose and tear gas to lessen the injuries as much as possible. There was no ill intention to hurt the monks. It is also learned that the venerable members of the Sangha have already admonished their disciples to stay away from worldly affairs contradictory to Buddha Satana. However, they were very sorry to encounter the accidental injuries to the monks who are protecting the Satana. Being Buddhists, they sincerely wish not to harm their religion, Satana, and members of the Sangha. With respect, he asks forgiveness with love to the members of Sangha for their responsibility. Sayada Badandan and Dobata addressed that there is always right and wrong performances in carrying out the task. He urged members of the Sangha, laypersons, and authorities to undertake the task with patience, careful thoughts, and consideration. He called for harmonious cooperation of members of the Sangha and laypersons for long term existence of Buddha Sasana. The head of Region Police Force and Party donated offertories to the Theodos and for members of the Sangha who are undergoing medical treatment at Monua People's Hospital. In other news, Union Minister for Home Affairs, Lieutenant General Koko, received UN Assistant Secretary General and UNODC Executive Director Yuri Fedotov at the Ministry in Nipito on 30th of November and discussed cooperation matters between Myanmar and UNODC. Moving on, Union Minister for Border Affairs, Lieutenant General Tente, held a discussion with UN Undersecretary General of UNODC Headquarters, Mr. Yuri Fedotov, and party at the Ministry in Nipito on 30th November. They discussed an educating cultivation method and providing poppy substitute crops to farmers, cooperation for progress of transportation to ensure smooth flow of agricultural products, uplifting of living standard of farmers in border areas, 
elimination and reduction of poppy cultivation by promoting education and health sectors and ministries future plans for the development of border regions. Also in the news, a workshop towards a strong future for Myanmar movies was held at Kandoji Palace Hotel in Yangon on Saturday. It was jointly organized by Myanmar Motion Picture Enterprise and Myanmar Motion Picture Association with the sponsorship of Forever Group. Union Minister U Ang Chi in his speech said that the country is moving into a new era where coal and iron are not raw materials but information. The valuable raw materials are ideas and visions which cannot be formed by machine, but by knowledge and creation. The new era is called culture and arts infrastructure, in which motion picture is not an exception. The purpose of the workshop is to promote the quality of Myanmar Motion Picture Society and its market, as well as regulations to be laid down. In the globalization age, motion picture is important in preserving culture and showing Myanmar's identity to the world. Chairman of Myanmar Motion Picture Association, Uzin Wai, extended greetings. CEO of Forever Group, Ubi Ma, also extended greetings. The workshop session included topics such as analysis of current situation of Myanmar Motion Picture Society, management sector of artists on screen and behind the screen, market condition, production and transmitting sector, and rules and regulations being practiced at home and abroad. We still have more stories for you. Please don't go away. We'll be right back.